As a market vendor, we have been disturbed a lot by the lockdown of COVID-19. Because customers are not in plenty, customers are here, they are not enough to purchase our produce. They are being disturbed by transport. The customers cannot are not allowed to travel with their own vehicles or board a boda boda or board the taxi. So most of them cannot walk, cannot trek from their home to the market to purchase the items and then they carry their luggages. This is Pamela, a mother. She sells groceries. She's among the many vendors who have endured hard times, including sleeping in the market as one of the measures issued by the government of Uganda to control the spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic. She earns a living by supplying foodstuffs and vegetables to her customers and new buyers, living miles away from the market and cannot come over to the market due to the lockdown. The story of Huntington, a 27-year-old vendor who dropped out of school when he became orphaned is not much different from that of Pamela. Pamela and Huntington and many traders in the informal sector like them are feeling the pinch of the economic impact of the novel coronavirus that has disrupted not only the social interaction of persons but also the way of doing business. The United Nations Development Program, UNDP, has offered Uganda with digital solutions not only to support the continuity of doing business, but also linking the informal private sector to e-commerce platforms. Because of social distances, social distancing, because of lockdowns, we're going to have to deal with things online. So as government, we intend to do whatever we need to do in the next two years to lower that cost of internet so that it goes down to about $20 per megabyte per second. This will enable the kind of life we're trying to lead where everything is going online. Everything is going to turn E. In this case, we're talking about e-commerce, e-trade. But everything is now going to turn E if we are going to be efficient. To support the national response and early recovery from the impacts of COVID-19, UNDP is promoting innovative solutions to sustain supply chains and secure socio-economic benefits for the population. UNDP is developing partnerships with the private sector to deploy innovative digital solutions and empower micro, small and medium enterprises, MSME traders, mostly women and youth, to maintain and grow business transactions through online platforms. The farmer who is able to produce needs somebody to buy their products. The one in Nakasero and other places would connect to the farmer and buy from the farmer. And I, who live in Naguru, would also buy from the person in Nakasero. So when you look at it from that trend, in value chain point of view, the farmer benefits at the end of the day. And for most countries in Africa, including Uganda, over 60% of our population depend or are employed in the agriculture sector. And that becomes very, very important in times like this to make sure that the farmer who produces is able to connect to the market at the end of the day. And Jumia provides us with that platform, uh, which is the first of its kind in the case of Uganda, where they are looking at the informal sector and looking at people who sell the tomatoes, the onions, uh, the peppers, uh, the matokes. Uh, this is the first time that we're doing here in Uganda. And I'm, I'm glad that we are part of that history. UNDP's partnership with Jumia Uganda is enabling e-commerce and providing convenient purchases by consumers by just the touch on their phone. This is empowering the informal business to access and broaden the market segment for their products online. During this time of COVID-19, so many people are not getting the customers. But for us, we are getting customers because they are helping us to buy these things and then they supply to other customers which need them. And for us, we cannot go to, to reach those customers. So those people have been helping me a lot to sell my items. E-commerce platforms like Jumia are at the forefront 
of providing the informal sector and SMEs the solutions they need to keep running and reaching customers during the COVID-19 crisis and beyond. So together with the UNDP, Jumia is excited to provide a digital online on-demand ordering platform that will help our vendors be able to sell and our customers be able to access safe products that are going to be delivered in a contactless process whereby customers are able to pay online, receive these products from drivers who have face masks, who have gloves, and who do not get in touch with the product itself. Government of Uganda has applauded UNDP and Jumia for the innovative initiatives since its enabling business continuity, sustaining jobs and livelihoods of the most vulnerable, as well as supporting the recovery of the economy of Uganda post-COVID-19. E-commerce is the way to go. Recently, I've been talking about the economy and I've told Ugandans that one of the lessons we have learned is that e-commerce has come, it will never go away. It is one of, of the lessons we have learned this time. Most partnerships with government and civil society will also be established to promote the enabling environment for digital transformation in the country with the ultimate goal of not leaving anyone behind in the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals.